So if I was going to write a simple file that just had output, So here we go, simple code, just a printf statement, it writes out a string and exits. Let's compile that. And if I run, there's my output. Now Linux lets me send the output or redirect the output to a file. And I do that with and I do that with the redirect operator. It's a greater than. Now, when you're using this operator, it's important that anything to the left or anything to the right of the operator is a file that you're willing to overwrite because this is going to erase the contents of that file and write the output of my program to that file. So if I look, there's my output.txt. Again, make sure that anything to the right is something you're willing to overwrite because you're going to lose it. If you said a dot out, redirect that to stdfiles.c, you're going to lose your source code. So keep that in mind. Always make sure you're writing that to a file either that doesn't exist or that you don't mind getting, getting overridden. Now, when I did this, you'll notice there's no output. All the output goes to the file. And we call this standard output. That's what gets written to the console or the terminal window, or in this case, since I'm redirecting it, it gets written to the file. And in C, there's a function called fprintf that lets me tell where I want to write a particular output, and I can specify that I want to write to standard out. But there's also a standard error. standard ERR. So now if we compile our file and run it, we have writing to standard output and to standard error, although we need to change that line of code. Let's click. Okay, so now we're getting the output we expect. Now, what good is standard error? It looks like it does the same thing standard out does. Well, let's redirect our standard output to output.txt. Notice I still got the standard error on my console, but my output, my standard output was still redirected to this file. So it's two separate streams. It's just in the, by default, they both go to the console. But when you're writing a program, you can redirect those to different places and in 220, we'll see how to redirect just the standard output to a file or just the standard error to a file. And we can do that for logging purposes and that sort of thing.